I've been studying primates for 10 years. It's really a passion for me, I have to say. And uh, to work in a country like Peru that has such incredible diversity, there are nearly 40 species of primates here. It's just such a privilege. This unique four-year Smithsonian Institution partnership is focused on understanding the impacts on biodiversity of natural gas exploration. This is a topic that's been very little studied and particularly when it comes to primates, we don't know how animals are affected. Here we're looking at how canopy bridges may be able to mitigate that impact. So what is a natural canopy bridge? Well, when a pipeline is built, it actually fragments the forest canopy, just like a road might or a river might. And those animals that are reliant on the canopy for travel can no longer cross from one side to the other. So, if large trees along the sides of the pipeline are left, then their branches can connect over the top and the animals can continue to cross. And this is a natural canopy bridge. An exhilarating feeling, that's for sure. Hanging out in a place that Two-legged people like us can't usually visit. A world of branches. So many different places to explore if I were a monkey. Look out over the vast canopy. Try not to spend too much time thinking about how high I am. So in order to monitor our natural canopy bridges, we've climbed up and put some camera traps up there. And those camera traps are there 24 hours a day, taking photos of any animal that may cross over the bridge. The camera I just opened was pretty incredible, actually. It had about 430 photos, and almost every single one of them had an animal in it. A lot of the kinkajou going back and forth. A squirrel. Possum, porcupine, and then a night monkey with a baby. Incredibly cute. I'm hoping that this project will provide a little bit of a solution to what can happen when we build a pipeline in the middle of the forest. And so far it looks like we're having some success with them using these crossing places. They're really just branches, but that's all a monkey needs to get from one side of a pipeline to the other. 